Current Renault driver Daniel Ricciardo has had the unique opportunity to have seen both the Renault and Red Bull camp from the inside. As such, many see him as uniquely qualified to have a valid opinion on whether Renault and Red Bull can once again join forces as engine supplier and customer team respectively from 2022. Ricardo has now given his thoughts on this. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, Red Bull and Renault relationship not irreparable. Ricardo began by giving his opinion on whether Red Bull and Renault could work things out. I think they could. Obviously, it's not really up to me to decide how that goes, but I do think they could. I think as well there's, call it emotions, and then there's business, and there's time. Obviously, time heals a lot of things, and whether things weren't seen eye to eye a few years ago, or whenever it was, I don't think that will necessarily remain forever. He then reiterated that nothing is irreparable. So if that's what ends up happening in the future, I think they can get back on good working terms. I never experienced anything that was irreparable, so I'm not concerned if that's what they do. I think they'll get on with it. Ricardo then pointed out that even when the Red Bull-Renault relationship deteriorated in 2018, they were still able to do well on track. To be honest, however the relationship ended last time with Red Bull and Renault, the fact was Red Bull was still winning races with Renault in the back of the car. Ricardo summed up his words by hoping that Red Bull can find an answer to their conundrum. I do hope they obviously find a solution, a good one, and they stay afloat and keep being a rival for the rest of us. Fast feed! Racing Point Sergio Perez feels that right now it's just a matter of keeping all the doors open and being patient as well. He further added that he is in no hurry, while adding that he is sure Red Bull know that he is available. Mercedes have confirmed that one of their team members within the team bubble has tested positive for COVID-19, while clarifying that it isn't Lewis Hamilton or Valtteri Bottas. Haas driver Romain Grosjean is hoping that the team will come to a decision soon regarding its driver lineup for next season. The FIA has confirmed that drivers who fail to take the exit of Turn 4 three times during the race will be shown a black and white flag. Any further cutting will then be reported to the steward. They have also stated that practice starts may be carried out after the end of the pit wall and adjacent to the orange band on the right-hand side barrier. Former F1 CEO Bernie Eccleston feels that the way Lewis Hamilton dresses, if you did not know Lewis was a race driver, you would never say he was a racer. Haas team principal Gunther Steiner has said that F2 driver Callum Eilert is not on their list because he's a Ferrari driver. Nürburgring circuit director Mikro Markfort has divulged that they have made a great effort in the Nordschleife in recent years by laying a lot of new asphalt and installing extra safety fences. Therefore, he feels, you can't compare the current Nordschleife with Niki Lauda's times. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff has explained that they are very excited to go back to the Nürburgring. It's an iconic race circuit that plays an important role in Mercedes racing history. Renault's managing director Cyril Abitable has confirmed that no third party will have an impact on their strategy, it is clear because they are here for their factory team. He further added that they have seen that they get very little benefit if they're just an engine supplier in F1, and maybe Honda's news is proof of that too. And he also stated that if they have to meet certain obligations they will do so, but everything they do has to revolve around the strategic goal of winning races in favour of building the Alpine brand. Could Red Bull and Renault get on harmoniously in the near future? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.